no, I, look, I really can't talk right now. I'm, I'm really busy. David's going to be home any second, and I have a lot of work to do. I, uh, no, no, Mom, I, I'm really busy. David... Um, it's me. I'm calling you again because it's 7, 7.30 now and I'm pretty sure you're done working by now. And um, we need to talk. We, we should talk. We, we, we have to talk. I mean, I think I've given you enough space now and uh, we should talk. This is crazy, David. This is crazy. It's been, it's been three months. It's been, it's been three months. I mean, I need you to come home. Okay? I need you to come home now. And, uh, I mean, you, you can't just walk away from everything that we have together. I'm your wife. We have a life together, David. This is, this is crazy. I mean, you just get up and walk away from everything that we have together. I mean, you didn't even tell me why or, or what happened or when. You, you can't, you didn't even tell me what, what happened. I don't even know why you walked away from everything that we had. David, I need you to come home. To delete this message, press.
You're my husband. How did it feel when you realized that you had to walk away from your marriage? Personally, I, I felt this, a disappointment. Um, scared. Failure. Um, depressed. I was very disappointed than anything mm -hmm. because I put a lot of myself in the marriage and all of the sudden everything you work for is gone. I felt well, pretty devastated because when you when there's children involved it's not just you. You know the whole family becomes disjointed and so for me, that was, if it had just been me, I think it would have been a, you know, a little bit easier for me because the kids are involved. That made it so much more difficult. I think I stayed longer trying to make it work because of the kids. Well, at first, it was a trip for being married for 20 some odd years. But then it was a breath of fresh air after I was able to sit back and breathe and get the gist of having a new life. So how would you describe the loss of your marriage? Some people describe it as a child and, you know, or death. How would you describe the loss of your marriage? Uh, death probably, yeah, I wouldn't say a child, loss of child. I've, I've gone through death, I've seen how it affects you this morning. Uh, I've definitely mourned. And for me, it was, um, like I lost a lot of myself. I think in my marriage I put a lot of myself in it. It's like a death. It's like someone died but uh, they, they won't go away. <laughs> the 14 years I was married, there was a lot of work put in the marriage, like working hard and money-wise and working on the marriage and kids. I wouldn't know how to, to, to describe that. Did you contemplate suicide? Nah, I wouldn't suicide. I was sad though. I mean, I was sad, I was depressed. Again, when you feel like you failed something, especially when you put what you think you're all into something, and that person doesn't receive it, they reject you, mm -hmm. it hurts. Do you think people uh, consider suicide during divorce? Or, yeah. uh... I do, because they've spent this long period of time with their partner. This is the person that they know. This is the person that they've been used to, that they've had children together, maybe so, maybe no. But um, it's the longest period of time. And so they start thinking, what am I going to do next? Do I get back out there and, and be single again? Or how do I do that? Do I start going to parties? And it's hard to be single and to embrace singlehood when you've been married for so long. How overwhelming was it to think of starting over with someone new? Well, honestly, I, I thought I needed to have someone in my life. But once I went through the divorce, I realized I didn't. I honestly needed to know me more. Love me well, I wasn't with someone right away, uh, basically because I had my kids and uh, I wasn't thinking about starting all over right away with anybody. I remember when I was, um, when, I, when I finally made the decision and was, uh, was on my own, it was such 
a bag of mixed emotions. I, I was confused, I was lonely, but I was also, you know, a big part of me was also relieved knowing that, you know, I knew something wasn't going to work and, and, I, and I finally had the, um, had the, the courage, because it took a lot of courage, it took a lot of courage um, to say what I wanted. And, um, and what I felt like I deserved. When you meet somebody new, it's, it's, you don't know what to expect. On the same token, when you meet somebody who's upfront and to the point, it's, it's a whole different, different ball game. Do you think the world is desensitized to divorce and the pain that people go through? I, absolutely, I do. I think that, you know, they think divorce is more common a lot of times we hear marriages that are only going to last, oh, five years, ten years. You know, even celebrities that you see on TV, oh, that marriage is only going to last a few years. They're, and when it ends, they're like, oh, okay, well, this person is now with someone new. What words of wisdom would you give to someone going through a divorce or a separation? Uh, to listen, you know. Um, Hindsight is, you know, everything. But I think I would have listened more. I would have paid more attention to, you know, what he was feeling. You know, when you're going through something, you feel like it's just you. But it's not just you. It's, it's you know, it's like a whole family. Everybody's going through stuff. There's, there's so many things to be accomplished with this project. This project is has been um, a, a bit of a a healing process for me. Uh, and it's not even just marriages, a relationship, a, a long relationship. You know, people go through the same thing in a long relationship. Um, the loss and, 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 and the feelings of, of abandonment and, uh, and rejection um, can play such a, a, a dramatic role in someone living or dying. Dinner at Six is really important to me. It's helped me already um, heal and it's helped me to, to kind of recognize uh, the healing and the denial that I was in. And so I wanna share it. I wanna share it with, with anyone and everyone that's ever gone through um, any type of a loss in a relationship. So I am asking you to please donate to this project and let it be possible for, uh, our plan is to uh, shoot a short film of Dinner at Six um, and to, um, to really get the word out there and to do this service. So please donate, every single thing counts to help this to become something.